Yeah. What's up, ladies and gentle tips? Out here in my garage, next to my newly scored workbench for where I'm going to be doing my DR200 rebuild, I got this bad boy on clearance for $85 hairs at Walmart. Uh, but regardless of that, um, we're going to do something a little uh, dope and special today. And uh, a buddy of mine by the name of Callie Swacky went ahead and sent this to my P.O. box. You'll see that on the uh, the next mail call coming up shortly after this video. And uh, he went ahead and sent me this book. And I went ahead and went through it, and I found so many cool pictures and locations that I never once seen before. And uh, that being said, we're going to go ahead and get on the motorcycle. We're going to go ahead and visit a lot of these locations in real life. I went ahead, as you can see, did my research. I, I'm actually reading this book. I haven't read a book at all in a long time. Right here, this cannon right here is a perfect example. This literally fought pirates and was an actual cannon in war literally killed motherfuckers literally was in the mexican-american war also and even a couple mormons had a little tussle back in the day and they started shooting at each other with one of these but this or with this exact one and guess what it's sitting still right now on del rosa like in the ghetto and it's fucking crazy it's just sitting there something that's literally this thing's literally fired at pirate ships possibly killed people who knows but it just baffles me i didn't even know this was in san Bernardino. Same with these channels. I'm gonna find so many cool metal detecting things out here. I'm I'm gonna be blown. I'm literally gonna blow my mind right here. Right here, an old merchant trail. We're gonna go to this today. All these purple locations right here. We're gonna go visit today. I'm gonna show you these before pictures, and then I'm gonna show you the current day state, like literally right now in 2020, what it's like. And right here's a merchant trail. Literally didn't even know that was a merchant trail. Imagine all this shit that's fallen off that that I can metal detect. I'm gonna have to find a way to get to that trail though, because it's a little blocked off. But uh, you guys get the gist of what I'm doing right here, right? We're gonna go to these sick ass old locations, and we're gonna go do a sick ass uh history to modern time comparison right here this building right here look at this this picture is from the 1880s this building's still standing today so we're gonna go see what that looks like today and try to do some comparisons find some markings on this building from this picture maybe find it i get a hard on for history so without flapping my cock holster any farther uh let's go ahead and go out little update on the dr200 because i'm still waiting on parts so the tusk crank case splitter we got the crank puller I got this whole new uh, assembly here with this new plug. It was 45 bucks, but that plug would be almost 30 to buy by itself. So pff, why not get the whole deal, right? And uh, I got that. Got our piston and shit in here. We're set, man. We are set. So let's go hit the road, Jack. So on our first San Bernard Ghetto historical expedition. Well, it's not our first. I've done this a lot, but... Geez, that one book, and I see a lot of his sources from that book is from the San Bernardino uh, Pioneer Historical Society, which is basically like probably the sole proprietors and reserving the history of the city. So that's why I'm seeing a lot of shit I haven't seen before. I see someone staring right there. Uh, I caught him. He, it's, it's kind of amazing how, how good your peripheral vision is in a helmet. You think that your side view's cut off? Nah, I can see some cunt gazers from a mile away, 90 degrees to either side. So our first uh, stop today is going to be, oh, and also if you guys remember my older videos, you guys were ever, ever avid watchers of my older shit, um, there was one time I came across a mansion with like some gold lion statues and shit out front. Ironically, see, I would have never known this. That's where we're heading right now for our first stop. And this is going to be that, uh, that merchant trail not sure if it was a mormon merchant trail uh, or the native or spanish one but um from what i've read in that book the majority of uh you know the history of this exact location uh started out as the the native americans of course uh then we had a lot of spanish settlers settling in and then basically uh mormons kind of took over the land and kind of that's kind of where it's at today so that's probably, you know, why you kind of see a little bit of Mormon shit around here, like churches and stuff. But, uh, man, it's just really cool, man. I love uh, learning my history at uh, of my city I live in. See, I lived here, like, damn near mostly into my entire life and uh, still learn some new shit, dude. Ooh, they paved all this, too. It's nice. 
So right now we're heading to a, a street called Del Rosa. And that's basically... Um, Another thing too, I'm noticing patterns of streets that are pretty typical in the historic times. Like 3rd Street is by far number one where all our Wild West and fucking Saloon Day shit took place. Like there was literally a corner, I think it was 3rd Street and D Street. They called it Whiskey Point because all four corners were a saloon. And it's just so cool. We're going to be heading down there today as well. We're from here, we're going to check the Merchant Trail out. Not much of the trail we could check out, but I'm going to show you guys its location. And then down the street, in the most random, literal random open spot that anyone can go on to it and like piss on it if they wanted to. Literally standing in front of this like little, I forget what it's called, something in the suns. It's, it's, I don't know if it's like some Masonic shit, but uh, this cannon that's literally been in like battles and and blown up pirate ships it's literally just like chilling right here on del rosa i hope it's still sitting but it looks like it is because i saw modern pictures of it sitting there and it's kind of ironic that you see all these regular houses right some are like you know way nicer than others don't get me wrong but there's this one house right next to this merchant trail and it's a it's a literal mansion dude i think this is it i hope this is it let me see dude it's kind of like a maze to get here but it's kind of kind of cool yeah here it is at the end of the street so once we hit the end of the street on the left hand corner it's gonna be the uh the old merchants trail and if i could ever find a way to get on that to metal detect it i feel like i'll uh i i, I don't feel like i would leave her out of there with at least one like awesomely cool old artifact whether it be like you know a suspender buckle or any of that shit but right here to my left, it's an entire huge mansion just sitting right here. It's so fucking random, dude. Can you see it from here? Yeah, look at that. It's literally a, a mansion in the middle of regular homes out here. And this is Daly Canyon Road. It's lots of historical movement and settling have been all throughout these hills. And then right here, I, I still don't know who owns it, but this mega mansion. For San Bernardino, this is a mega mansion. Look at this. It's insane, dude. And then just hidden in the corner, and then you would only know about it if you knew about it, the old merchant trail. And as you can see in the book, that's what this is. There's a warning sign, let me see. Entering burned area, potential hazards can include loose rocks, falling trees, limbs, flash flooding, debris, trails may be damaged or blocked with debris. Uh, but I think this is a completely... Oh, yeah, look. Oh, no motor vehicles, so you can't do any motor vehicles through here. But right here, just going over this, which I'm sure I could just park here and walk it up that. If I follow that, that's the old merchant trail, which I think one of these days I'm going to try to take my bike here with my, my equipment, and I'm going to... um try to go metal detecting on that and that's what i'm saying guys like just something as simple as this you would have known not known that's what this is and then moving on from that let's go check out that cannon i'm actually really excited to see that cannon i didn't know and it's not like a replica or anything it's like the legit cannon that they fired and had battles with so that's super sick I think it's like amazing that some cannon that literally was in pirate ship battles is just chilling in San Bernardino. I really hope it's still there because I want to get like a really close detailed uh, like look at that motherfucker. And then I, have, I haven't gone through all of my pages of this book yet and this is definitely we're going to have more videos of cool like history and shit. But uh, there's a bell right next to it and I'm not sure if it's farther into the book or not but um there's an old bill next to it and i'm wondering if that's part of some mystery too holy shit gas is 249 a gallon oh, wow that means my grom's only going to be about 250 to fill up on on its emptiest so right here we're by the 210 freeway and uh literally right off this exit on del rosa there's a building right here on to, off to my left past this uh second light right here and we're gonna go check it out and that's gonna be where the uh cannon's gonna be located so look at just sitting here right here right this place is called native sons arrowhead okay so this is like a native american kind of like like lodge i think but this is it right here look at this cannon oh check that out this is the historical cannon right here. 
So those 1818 Mexican cannon captured in Los Angeles by Americans in 1845 and placed in Fort Benson in 1856 by an independent party. Dispute with Mormons over the land. Your great great grand. I got this um this book right here. Check it out. Let me show you. And uh. Oh yeah. Yes. See, a member of the Native Sons wrote that book. Oh, he did? Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to all these locations today, and I'm making a little video on it. <laughs> Our great-grandpa, great-great-grandpa, yeah. had bought some land yeah. in the 1850s, 1860s, and the Mormons had bought the San Bernardino colony here, and he bought that from the state, or the government, and they said that that property belonged to them. And he says, no, I bought this from the state. It's my property. And so somebody, this is the old Spanish cannon, Snetskin cannon, and they had in L.A., they brought it out for him to use it. Now, there are stories that said it was never shot off, but uh, San Bernardino history says... Yeah, this says that it was used to ward off pirate ships yes. off um, in 1818. Yes. That's, that was and that's what that, yeah, that's what it says right here too. Okay. Now what he did was, he didn't have the cannonballs, so he filled it full of nails, and nuts, and bolts, and the rocks, and he aimed it close to, but not at, the sheriff, the moss marshal, and he blasted it. They said that they could hear the cannon from Los Angeles all the way down to the Mexican <laughs> California border. Wow. They could hear that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is there any, uh, I can't find anything on that bell, is that? That, that bell is an old schoolhouse bell. I don't know. A schoolhouse bell? Right here is a flat. Oh, okay. We put it out because people still are, are flats. Oh, yeah. Mind if I take a picture of it? Here she is, look, there's the cannon right there. And this thing actually, literally was fought, it was stolen from uh, the Mexicans during the Mexican-American War. And it warded off pirates who had been raiding sections of the coast. Ooh, how cool is that? And it's literally the original cannon right here. That is so literally cool and uh, it's like imagine just think of like the the history this thing has in it it's so sick his wife was like walk i felt bad for his wife i was trying to like cut him off so like his wife was his wife when when your wife is walking around the car kicking the tires i think that's like the most obvious indication that uh <laughs> that she's trying to get the fuck out but apparently this was an old schoolhouse bell and ironically, I have a picture of a schoolhouse in my book, and I want to know, now match it up with this and see if it was that one. How dope is that? All right, so we did the cannon. We did that. Now we're going to go ahead and go to 3rd Street. And we got all these old buildings and saloons and areas that used to always... And this right here, this building is still standing. So we're definitely going to go check that out. And uh, look, you can even see the cigar store for one of those buildings. Fucking dope. Oh, there's a schoolhouse right there. Look, right next to the firefighter. And there's a San Bernardino High School before it became where it's at right now. The one that's currently what it was built in 1800s that I actually attended. Yeah, so let's go ahead on down and uh, check out historic 3rd Street. That's really cool, though. That's, a, that's like the original cannon. Man, if that stay-at-home shit happens any longer, it's going to start looking like fallout out here. I heard it's been extended for another three months, so... And I'm at home right now. The home is my road on my motorcycle, so I'm all set. Hopefully you guys as well watching enjoy history as much as I, I do. I get, I get a hard-on on, on uh, seeing like perfect example that cannon that 
just to think like there was a humans literally like fighting in fear for their lives fucking launching blasting projectiles fucking towards other dickheads i just think that's awesome and now it's literally like something so crazy and like historical it's just sitting in a fucking parking lot in san Bernardino. it's just crazy and dude said that's the oldest historical society in san Bernardino. like they they were founded in 1875 and they preserved like the memories of the old west i was like damn that's dope up until he said it's a 60 dollar a month fee to be a member and that i should become a member and it's a 10 dollar initiation charge and i was like bitch a good and take it easy i know there's a story with this field all these old wooden stakes from an old fence this had to have been like farms or something easy I think somebody's Grom got stolen out of this AutoZone parking lot two days ago. Like literally just went in there to go to AutoZone and these it was like three Cholos and a fucking uh, a Mazda 3 with pink rims. So for one, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't know that a Mazda 3 could fit a Honda Grom inside of it. And for two, what the hell are three Cholos trying to do with a Honda Grom? And for three, go ahead and take it easy. I can make this. Hey! Nice bike shit here! Damn, me and my girlfriend's faux place. Dude, I'm so bummed out for them. I hope they're... Hopefully they're not struggling. And here's uh, some more history. This is one of the oldest cemeteries. Actually, I think it's one of the... Oh, well, it's the oldest cemetery in the city of San Bernardino, but the county... Oldest one in the county is Aquamanza, and I actually did a video on that a while ago, too, if you want to check that out. All right, now we're on 5th Street. Damn, look at S.A. Loco on the bike over here. Hey. Swagtron. I'm going to swag it up with you guys, okay? I'm going to swag it up too with you guys. <laughs> And as you can see, like any of the, any times you see those green arrowheads, it says historic site. It usually gives you like a backstory of what that site was right here, the historic county uh, courthouse. They like barely, I think they're actually still using it for small things, but uh, that, that was from 1926, almost 100 years old. And then this is the new one they built. And here's Third Street right here. This is the historic street that like so much history happened on and you would have never known at all. Could I get a picture with your Dodge Charger by chance? I, I, this is probably my favorite police car in existence, man. Hey, let me get off the road real quick. Nice. So ironically, like right here by the uh, the secret embassy right here, as you can see, is still looking like it's in full effect. You have Court Street and then Third Street uh, right next to it. And these streets right here. As you can even look at these buildings, look at the buildings right here, and you can kind of already tell just how old these are. And right here, look at historic site courthouse 1893 building involved in controversy leading to separation of Riverside County. And I don't know if it's this or if that's this, but this looks like the old building right here. Cause look, at it's all like brick and shit and all old. Let's take out the book, see if we can't find it. This is just incredible that this is like this area right here. Third Street on D. Okay, here's E. There's D. So D Street's right here. Third Street on to D. So that's like this whole surrounding area right here. Look at. And there's this area right here that you can see. Where's the court one? Court and E. Court E. Right here. Court and E. Hardware. Oh, this is this building, I think. It looks like these look like the windows. Let me see. One, two, three. Oh, it looks like a door right there. Hold on, that. Oh no, that's a window. That's a window. Look, those three over there look like the original windows, but all these are new windows up there. And this was a drugstore arcade. Another good old west shot of San Bernardino 1890 is seen here. With the use of electricity in its infancy stages, one would wonder what type of arcade games they had back then. 
Oh shit, look, archways, archway, archway. That looks like it once was an archway right there, but it was covered up with a wall. This might have been the front of right here. Holy tits. That is actually cool as hell. But then again, it don't have like those emblems that are right there on the wall, the gold emblems. So I can't really say for certain if that's the that building. But it says Court and E Street. Unless it stood like in one of these locations. That's an old building for sure right there. I don't but that's definitely not it. Over here, look, this is the Drew Anderson building in the northwest corner of Court and E Streets in 1888. The post office was housed here from that year until 1903. That can't be this one. That can't be this one because I don't have the points on the top. And also this shows it like two stories and that's like multiple floors. So yeah, that's definitely not it. This might have been torn down or it was right here where this parking garage once stood. Oh, there's the old rail station. I think we already did a video on that too. Holy fuck, that scared the fuck out of me. Look, E Street, downtown San Bernardino right here. Look, a fucking parade going. And this is E Street right here. Yeah, these are these are the only two old, old buildings that are still here. And I know these, especially that one, all these are like the old historical buildings. Street Fair on E, look at that. Looks like a big, look, 3rd and E Street in 1906. Ooh, Patton State Hospital, that shit's terrifying. All right, so we're gonna find that building that it says in this book still stands today. Third Street looking east from E. I need to like go right here on Third and E because this is where most of the shit's at. But all the all these buildings would be taken down. So it said 599 Court Street was where that picture was taking place. Here's an old historic heritage building right here. 599. Where the fuck's 599? Wait, Gringos, Mariscos, and Wings. What the fuck is that? This isn't it, is it? Molly's Cafe. Because this is an old ass brick building here too. Dude, this building's seriously old. Look, there's like chips of brick off of it. This is Dean Court. Fish tacos, 99 cents. That sounds like food poisoning. And right here we got more old uh, brick buildings that I'm gonna assume is from back in the day. There's the archway. Viva la Boba. I just realized it goes from fourth to court to D. And there's no third in E. I think third was taken out. There's the old, there's an AT&T building that's really old. And right here, a historical shopping location as well. This one's just abandoned in time. I would love, what I wouldn't do to be able to walk around inside that. Just to fucking see what it's like. But now I gotta run home and make a pit stop for the toilet. And of course the California theater. That's a really historical place. That's pretty damn cool, isn't it though? Like all the old pictures and like the stories behind it. We're definitely gonna follow up on this and do uh, some more history buff ropes. But uh, nature's calling right now and I'm literally about to like redline this Grom through red lights just to get home because I literally am about to erupt right now and I don't like it. Yellow light, fuck. You, you asshole, you triggered that. You triggered that. I don't care, I can turn right on red. And right now we're about to show you the historical plumbing system of San Bernardino. Well guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this nice little historical run through San Bernardino. Learning a few more little pointless things to most of you, but really cool to me. And, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys wholeheartedly for sticking by and watching. As always, all links are down below if you want to support me in any way, shape, or form. And, as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the fuck out of that like button. You guys have a, a real good day. I'll see you guys later.